is up guys welcome back to another daily video it is me angel and uh i'm back to bring y'all another daily video hope y'all are enjoying these make sure to like comment and subscribe please do and if you haven't watched the other videos guys make sure to check them out uh hope y'all are enjoying it uh make sure to uh, follow me on stock twits and on twitter at that's just trading if you want to get some more free alerts guys so without further ado let's hop into another video guys welcome back to the desk where we trade right like i say uh super excited to bring y'all another stock in another daily video and today what we're going to be looking at is pins guys right so pins as y'all may know if you don't know for sure it's for pinterest right and kind of what i see on pins right so right now we're under 15 minute but I, as y'all know i like to trade on my one hour my four hour and it looks like pins you know uh the reason i like it is because it looks like it's coming down to test these supports right and i love guys like i told you on the channel i love buying supports and dip buys because they're more likely uh, for me and my game plan. They're more likely to work out, and like I said, if they don't work out, it's less. Um, uh, how should I say? It's less um, money to lose. Should I say right? If that makes sense, I don't know. So I mean, just so I can, uh, just as we can see here, really quick. I mean, we have this downtrend line, right? I just drew a few supports and resistance lines, kind of where we have them, which is good, right? Around the 62 to uh, 67 area, we have the support areas, right? And even, you can even go lower here to 59, 51. But, I mean, just for now, I think that's good. And then you can kind of see this downtrend line also right here on your four-hour. right? And let's go to our one-hour, see if we see a little bit more exactly. Look, you see that? So, kind of what do I see on pins, right, right now? So, yesterday I was looking at it, and I saw, I wanted to see if pins could hold up. You know, if the bulls could come back and maybe drive the stock more up, right? And it looks like we did hold this support. So I was like, okay, let me see today, you know, how does pins do? Tuesday, you know, the, sort of like the middle of the week still. How does pins do? Are the bulls still in control? Or are we going to crack through all these supports that we have, right? I honestly thought pins would have more room down to come here to this other support at $62. But, I mean, it proved me wrong, you know, and it held up here. So now what am I looking at? Well, now I'm looking at, uh, now I'm looking for pins to break this downtrend line that it's currently holding right now. So I like to pull out, let's pull out a five minute really quick. And let me zoom out. I don't know why it's so zoomed in. Excuse me, right? So, I mean, we can kind of see our downtrend line here. And this is our four-hour downtrend line. It's a little bit different. I didn't zoom in all the way. But, I mean, you can see it right here. It's a little bit clearer on your 15-minute, right? So, I mean, wh what exactly do I want to happen, right? Well, maybe, you know, tomorrow market opening, maybe we can come test this support again and then rip out of this downtrend line, you know, squeeze to the very end. Like I said, you know, squeeze to the very tip of the triangle and then break out of that i mean that would be my personal favorite play uh but also i mean there's other, there's other favorite plays that i like too you know i mean pins could break out here you know and then set up a new um oh look at that you can check that out right look at that it's squeezing a little flag here even after pre-market so i mean who knows i mean this might break uh aftermarket excuse me this might break a uh, pre-market and then into uh open hours market opening right and squeeze up towards the 70 area so that's really neat, right? So, I mean, if we can break out of the 69 area, I'm looking for the 70 area to break, obviously, because I like my $10 natural resistances and for support also. So after the $70 breaks, you know, what do I see next? Well, I mean, you can see we have a little bit of resistance on Monday right here at this opening high of 72, right? So that would be my starting uh, my starting uh, resistance right there. And the 72.7 over here also that I drew from earlier, uh, I drew it on my four hour chart. It's also another resistance, which is kind of why I resisted on Monday also. So, and, I mean, uh, like I said, I mean, it would be beautiful if we can break out of these downtrend lines tomorrow, you know, or the next day and kind of make a new support up here, kind of draw a downtrend line. I mean, look how previous chart history has it, right? You can see your uptrend line here after it broke, right? Let's say this is our downtrend line. After it broke, it kind of made new supports. I mean, you can see that, you see? And it kept bouncing and it kept making new supports after that. And you can just keep drawing trend lines, you know? And that's kind of what I want to see if Pins can repeat his past chart history and go towards new highs, you know? So, I'd really like for that ha to happen, guys. But like I said, I mean, if it doesn't happen, you just stick to your game plan, you know? This is just what I see in Pins, in my opinion. Like I said, it's pretty oversold right now, which is what I love about it. It's when, like, nobody cares about it at the bottom. That's when I love That's when I love grabbing, uh, grabbing some contracts, maybe some calls, you know? Uh, showing a little bit of love, but obviously being smart still uh, while I'm playing it, you know? So other than that guys, like I said, what was the main thing guys? Well, we have the 67 key, uh, area of support, 65 area of support, and the 62.48 area of support that are key uh, support guys. And resistances wise, well first off, we gotta break out of this downtrend line. So I would say major key resistances right now are 69 and 70. 
and uh, after that, I mean, we can come test the 73 area, and then maybe come back and hold new supports, like I like I said earlier, you know, we draw this uptrend night. But uh, other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more daily videos. And like I said, if you haven't checked out the other ones, guys, make sure you check them out, please. Hit them up with the like. I really appreciate it. But other than that, guys, hopefully y'all are having a good day, and make sure to stay tuned for more videos. Later.